I'm not, I'm not quite ready. I mean, I know what we have in store tonight is just amazing, and everyone here is so excited, but I just, I just need a minute. I mean, it's four and a half years. I mean, for you guys. For me, it was a, a bit longer. You see, before there was... You almost made me say it. Uh, not yet. Not till I'm ready. But before there was this stage, well, there was a, a planning stage and a getting to know you stage. And for me, that stretched it out to five years of my life. You see, you see the getting to know you stage, we had this juggling club and there, it had a mental problem. I, I don't get it, but the, this mental problem, it was like, we, whenever the weather got bad, we had to stay together. We had to go be a community. We couldn't just say we're a bunch of friends who wanted to hang out. We're a community and it had to stay together no matter what. And I think deep down we knew. We knew what was inside us, what we could turn into if we stayed together long enough to figure it out. And one day, about three months into that, this old Lebanese guy who owned the hookah bar we were in comes stumbling out in that, that thick accent. He says, I'm thinking of getting space next door. You do show, yes? It was my first improv prompt. <laughs> yes, and we were born to do this. Okay, so I lied once. <laughs> One time. And after that, I promised, I made the promise that I would tell the truth on the stage. Always. Which is probably what in, had me become a clown in the end, because, you know, real painfully so. But then we had to plan three months. <laughs> three months, and one day I realized we were going to burn the building down. So I wrote down a bunch of rules, and my friends were smart enough to say, you can't ask for that many rules unless you're a cop. <laughs> well, I didn't want to be a cop of those people. They were my friends. I knew better. They were like me. No. No. And so we crossed out until we got to 10. A little social contract. And we put them up, and we realized we made a place where everybody could feel safe to be anything. And, and in doing that, everyone got amazing. They got brilliant and beautiful. And somewhere along the way, we got bigger. We, we were like a goldfish, and they threw us in this bigger room because we got the opportunity to move here, and we started taking it seriously. And now we made a circus happen. You know, I'm telling you stuff you know. You were there, you and me. I made some amazing friends along the way. People who do things that I, I just, I don't believe. They're doing interesting things and they're, it's exciting to be their friend because, well, they're so passionate about what they do. I made some enemies along the way. Probably, unavoidably, because, well, I was doing interesting things and that's what happens. But okay, we got together and we built all of this. And I know, I know in a minute, I have to put you on and I have to say it and start it. But this is it. This is the last Monday. The last one. You know, every week I sit down and I type, last Monday, the, uh, nice try. Last Monday, this, this place, and I try to encapsulate what happened here. Look, I can't do it. I, I can't even figure out what to say. From week to week, I talk about the acts, the running joke of the evening, and I try to make a pun, and I call it good. Because how do you explain to people who've never been here that magic, that genius is born and nurtured here? You can't. You just have to keep doing it. So we did. But this is it. The last Monday. And so, okay. I will be the great host. I will, be, I will do it one more time. And I'll put all of this sad away and I, we will have a show that will rock it to the skies. Oh, it's gonna be good. But, Cause they're ready. You're ready.
Now that I said it, I think I'm ready too. Thanks. I just wanted to say thanks. Here goes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final open stage.